Good day, students. Today, we will continue with the first unit of basic electrical engineering, DC circuits. This is the second part, that is part 1B. Let's look at parallel circuits now, that is the topic 1.5. When a number of resistors are connected in such a way that one end of each of them is joined to a common point and the other end of each of them is joined to another common point, then the resistors are said to be connected in parallel and such circuits are known as parallel circuits. You'll get a better idea when you look at figure 1.11 which will be soon to follow. In these circuits, current is divided into as many paths as the number of resistances, that is resistors. Note down figure 1.11. As shown in figure 1.11, let R1, R2 and R3 be connected in parallel across a voltage of V volts and the total circuit current flowing be I amperes. You can see that the voltage is V, there is a positive and negative voltage V with current I and current gets split into I1, I2 and I3 at the junction of the three resistances R1, R2 and R3. When they are joined again, current becomes I once more. Note down this figure. As we just discussed, let I1, I2 and I3 be the currents in resistors R1, R2 and R3 respectively. Now, we know that total current at a point is the sum of the currents entering or leaving it. So, we take it as I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 and by Ohm's law we can write each of the currents as follows. We get I equals V divided by R1 plus V divided by R2 plus V divided by R3 because each current that is I is equal to V by R by Ohm's law. By taking V as a common factor we can write this as I is equal to V whole thing into 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. That is, if we take V transposed to the left hand side, we get I by V is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. Now, as per Ohm's law, Total circuit resistance that is R is equal to V divided by I. You know this from the previous topic discussions. Inversing the above equation, we get 1 divided by R. Inverse the right hand side as well, you get I by V. Note this down. We have hence derived I by V is equal to 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2 plus 1 divided by R3. You saw that in the previous equation. Therefore, we can say that because I by V equals 1 by R, we come to the conclusion that 1 divided by R is equal to 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2 plus 1 divided by R3. Take a note of this formula. This is very important for applications to come. Thus, when many resistors are connected in parallel, the reciprocal of the total resistance is equal to the sum of the reciprocals of the individual resistances. Keep this in mind. We will continue with more topics in the next class.